Hey, morning. It is so funny how you get the inspiration to do a video when you're not quite looking like it. But I didn't feel like getting dressed. And I was like, what's more important, my ego or getting the information out to the ladies? So I'm um, going to get you some information. So don't look at nothing else, okay? I'm going to decorate the bedroom and all that. Don't even worry about it. Okay, here we go. I want to talk about twisting hair because this is key. This is such an unflattering angle. Wow. Anyway, um, the key to twisting hair. I heard somebody, I read something about um, they twist their hair and the hair doesn't stay. Um, first of all, I don't normally just snatch hair out of my bonnet and start twisting it. I always spritz it with water, but just for the sake of the video, I want to show you some technique right quick. First of all, when you're twisting your hair, you don't want to share um, pieces. What I mean by that is, when you take your two pieces, no matter what size, if you're doing little tiny twists or if you're doing a big chunky twist out, which I've not been able to do, so kind of take it with a grain of salt what I'm about to say, but um, <laughs> it depends on how you want it to look. That's how you decide what size you want your twist to be. If you want big waves, then you're going to use more hair. Be very careful not to rip it apart because it's very dry right now. Even though, yes, I moisturize at night. Um, you want to make sure that your pieces are even. Or should I say the same length. And also the same amount of density. You don't want to have one skinny one and one fat one, for lack of a better word. Okay, so these are about the same length. All right, and so then you decide if you want it to be twisted from your scalp or if you want it to be not, you know, not so defined at your scalp, and that's the way I like to do it. So I don't like it to be all defined because I don't like parts. And so if you don't like parts showing and you want to manipulate the twist out as little as possible, you're going to want to do um, just start twisting. I'll show you what I mean. I'm just simply wrapping, oops, I'm getting a little tangled there. You're simply wrapping the hair around itself. That's how I twist. Wrap. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Some people twist like this. It doesn't really matter. But when you look at your twist, all your little bumps should be uniform, okay? If you see one that's fat or one that looks like it's, you know, not quite looking like the others, you may want to start over. And then this is the key here to keeping it together. When I get to the end, and also make sure you don't share. Remember what I said about sharing? Like if this one was running out of hair, then you take a little bit from this one. And then you twist it together. That's going to ruin your twist out. Okay, don't do that because then you're going to have to pull it apart and it's going to be frizzy on the ends and perfect up here. And that doesn't matter because you don't really see this part. You see the ends. So to make that closure and to make it uh, non-frizzy, first of all, you want your hair to be moisturized. You want your hair to be detangled. I would detangle this either with my fingers or with a comb. Even if I didn't detangle the rest. If you detangle the ends, somehow it just kind of works. Um... And, uh, okay, once that's detangled, I would seal this with some oil to give me some slip. And then I do this technique right here where I twist each individual leg, okay? Twist, wrap, twist, wrap, okay? You see what I'm doing? Twist, wrap, twist, wrap. That's going to give friction, and that's going to hold this twist together. Oh, I am running out of hair, but I'm not going to share. I'm just going to twist it as far as it'll go. If it was wet, it would be curly, and I would simply spiral it around my fingers, and it would have a little curl on the end, but it's dry, so no curl. But it'll hold, and I mean, I have never twisted hair that didn't hold, and I've twisted all types of hair textures, silky, coarser hair types, they all hold when you do the twist wrap method because of the friction. Now, I want to show you one more thing. Um, if you want a tight twist, like that's a big chunky twist, but let's say you're twisting and you got to go out. Now, if you're going to go out and wear the twist, I would advise that you twist it a little bit tighter. So, in that case, what I do is I twist, okay, each leg. I twist both, and then I wrap them around each other. So that'll be twist, wrap, twist, wrap for like the first two or three, and then I just do a regular old twist. And the reason why I don't twist wrap all the way down is because if you twist wrap all the way down, it's going to look like little dreads. You're going to have these two little locks <laughs> that are wrapped around each other. When I get to the end, I twist and wrap, twist and wrap, twist and wrap like I showed you before. I want to show you one more technique, too, that works really well for me. If um, Because when I twist out, I notice that my hair you know, shrinks up a little bit more. But if I want it to be a longer twist out, like I showed you, I think I posted a picture not too long ago where I have on like purple stripes, purple purple and silver stripes, and I wanted my hair to be a little longer for that night. I braided it. Ooh, I need something to moisturize. My hair is very dry and very tangly. Um, and like I was telling um, someone about, you know, since my hair has gotten longer, it's a lot easier for me to... Um, 
do because now I don't have to take the time to do a thousand little twists. I can just grab eight chunks of hair and do a twist out overnight and it'll dry and everything. But anyway, I braid. Now this is if you want more length, okay? You'll still have the same awesome texture. Try not to rip your hair apart. I like to pull from the bottom and it'll kind of detangle itself. But yeah, so you just plait. Again, you want to make sure all three legs are even. I didn't really do that. This is more for technique. And so you plait your hair like normal. I see I have one skinny one. <laughs> and two fat ones, but that's okay. And I don't really plait it very tight because you want air. Because, see, I always wet. I More than moisturizing creams, more than leave-in conditioners, I use water. Okay, and preferably bottled water. Okay, I don't know why, but um, my pipes, I don't like to drink the water that comes out of my sink, so I got it from this kind of hard. It may have some chlorine or some, um, can't think of what the other stuff is that is not good. So try to get a bottle of water and put in your spray bottle. Um, but I, I plait all the way to the end. Oop, I'm finna share. I'm finna share. Don't do that. But I had to share a little hair right there just to make my point. Um... And so then you decide on which two pieces you can combine and which one can stand by itself. And that doesn't really mean very much. If they're all even, then one side is going to be bigger. And you start by twisting that side. So we plait to here, then we twist, wrap, twist, wrap, all the way to the end. And that's going to give you a really nice wavy twist with a very curly end. It looks like a natural hair texture because if you look at girls with wavier hair types, you'll see that it's not really spiraled all the way down. It's wavy and then it curls at the end. And that's what this technique does. So I hope this helped you. See how I embarrassed myself for y'all. Bye.